Mix 106 Movie Reviews with Mix 106 Movie Critic Willie Waffle. He sees the movies, so in case it's a really bad one, you don't have to waste your money. This week we have two movies for you. We have the feel-good Disney movie, McFarlane USA with Kevin Cosner, And we have a little comedy, I hope, with Hot Tub Time Machine 2. It's been a long time since I've felt this way, but Hot Tub Time Machine 2 is a movie that hates me. It hates everybody out there. It wants you to feel pain. <laughs> I've never I've never heard you actually blame a crappy movie on yourself before. Well, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, Hot Tub Time Machine 2 is one of the most aggressively, grotesquely off-putting movies I may have ever seen in my entire life. It's like the entire film is a challenge to your soul. Wow. Okay, explain that to me. What does that mean? Is it offensive? You know, it, it's a movie where they just don't care about the story. They don't care about the characters. They don't care about being funny. They just want to throw in as many jokes about the male anatomy as one human being can think of for a 90-minute movie. And, and they'll throw it in even when it's not appropriate, even when it doesn't make sense, <laughs> even when there's no need to bring it out of nowhere. So what you're saying is this is going to make a whole bunch of money this weekend. God, I hope not. There's going to be teenage they, boys going because they don't want to see Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, they do tease the possibility of a hot tub time machine three at the end of the movie. Wow. Oh, God, please no. <laughs> All right, so I can't remember. Did you like hot tub time machine? Eh, it was okay. It had its moments. I had people tell me that it was absolutely hilarious, and then I tried to watch it halfway through. Okay, I'm done with this. This is not funny. I don't get it. So this one is nowhere even close to that one, and you didn't like that one. Oh, I was ready to walk out after 10 minutes. Wow, that very doesn't happen very often. No, no, and, and, and frankly, I probably would have if I could have got a refund on my ticket. So am I, saying, am I seeing a zero here? Oh, negative one waffle. Ne- you, whoa, hello, stop the presses. Negative one, a movie's got to be really bad for you to give it a negative. It's horrifyingly bad. Wow, that's... Willie, do you realize this may be the two weeks in a row you've given the lowest rated movies ever in since we've been talking to you in the last thirty years? When I was when I was sitting there watching Fifty Shades of Grey, one of the thoughts that occurred to me was, Well, it can't get any worse. <laughs> and it did. Oh, it got bad. All right, then please tell me because I think this movie, the story behind it looks fantastic. I love Kevin Cosner. And, of course, it's a feel-good sports movie, so please tell me this saves the day. Oh, thank the Lord it does. You know, it's called McFarland, USA, and it's set in 1987, and we see Kevin Costner as a football coach who just got fired, allegedly, in Boise, Idaho. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Are you kidding? I don't think that part of, it, while the movie is based on a true story, I do not believe that part is true based on my research. <laughs> I don't remember hearing this, and I think I would have heard about this. Yeah, I think you would have, too. I think we all would have. Uh, you know, and, and now he's on his last chance. He, he's teaching in McFarland, California, this, this like, you know, town in the middle of nowhere made up mostly of, of migrant farm workers. And it turns out he thinks these kids are perfectly trained and have the perfect kind of diet to be cross-country runners, but nobody's ever tried it before. And now he's going to get this ragtag motley crew together and try to go to the state championships. All right, I may be an idiot, but what kind of diet is specifically tailored to? Well, no, he said it's carbo-loaded. So he says, you know, a lot of, you know, he said rice and beans give you all the carbohydrates you need to really kick it for long-term distance. Oh, yeah, that's for true. running. Tortillas, all that stuff. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, now, yeah, now, like, now you know, I'm getting it. These kids, they're, they're working in the fields under the hot sun. He says they've got great conditioning. He, a lot of them are running to and from the fields for work because, well, that's how they can get around. He goes, they're ready to be cross-country runners. Okay, I get it. That's probably yeah. basically true. Yeah, no, I, well, yeah, yeah I, it, it's, you know, it's kind of like one of those things that makes you go, yeah, he, he really knows what he's talking about. And, and I think, you know, the movie is, is really enjoyable because it's totally the quintessential Disney feel-good formula movie. So just kind of go with it. Yeah, you know exactly what's going to happen. You know they wouldn't have made a movie about it if this kid wasn't going to the state championships. So just kind of sit back and enjoy the underdogs overcoming adversity. So after we watch this and look years down the road, are we going to sit there and think, okay, this is one of the better sports movies that was ever out? 
You know, I, I don't know if I'll go that far, but I'll say three waffles out of four. I'll say it's one of the better movies out right now. <laughs> After the minus one from Hot Tub Time Machine 2, I'll take anything. Oh, gosh, that was just so painful. Uh, and Kevin Cosner, how does he do? I mean, I love him. Um, every movie I've seen, probably his last eight, nine movies, even though the movie might not have uh, been great, I've loved him in it. Is he same here? Yeah, he's, he's totally here. I mean, you know, he's just kind of that ultimate kind of steadying force in a movie. He doesn't get too high, he doesn't get too low, and he just kind of brings the right kind of gravitas to make you go, wow. Oh, and I had no idea Kevin Cosner coached football here in Boise, Idaho. And not, <laughs> not only that, but he was fired. What idiot school district did that? It's a sordid, sordid tale. I guess. <laughs> All right, what do we have next week? Next week we are going to be talking about Focus, starring Will Smith.